Oh my gosh, no way! That's pretty disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. You hashtag embrace. Ooh, this one might be my favorite. Mm. <laughs> you don't know Schmidt. You're gonna wanna make sure that you stick around to the end and pay attention to these points because we wanna know at the end of this video which hashtag you're gonna put down below. And shout from the rooftops, baby. Yes, write them down. We are gonna talk about them again at the end really quick, yes. but tell us which one. Why do people only talk about spring cleaning? Right. And does that mean that you only get in there and like dust those cobwebs once a year? Spring cleaning in the fall. Why do they call it spring cleaning instead of, what do they call fall cleaning then? You guys know that dust builds up on those fans. Like we're not just talking about the RV. Right. We're talking about your house. We're talking about wherever it is that you live. So one really important thing to do in between seasons yeah. or in between travel is declutter. Yeah, man, get rid of that mess, that clutter, that buildup, all those things that accumulate when you're traveling mm -hmm. and you're not really worried about all that stuff just tends to pile up. It's all the simple things. Dust the windows, right. get out your air filters, change them, change those little fan vents that are in the RV, you know, that like suck the air out. Man, those things get nasty. Yeah, those screens get all that buildup from just like moisture and grease and dust and dirt, you know? Yeah, and why are we making this point? Let us show you because you will never believe. We were so grossed out by, like one of the kids dropped some M&Ms in the vents. Yeah. And so we're like, oh, we have to unscrew the vents and get out the M&Ms. We found a lot more than M&Ms. Oh, it was a treasure trove of lily leaf behind. So for those of you that do have an RV and you've got those vents down below, um, Unscrew those bad boys <laughs> and clean them out. If you dare. We dropped a couple of M&Ms down into our vent. We had to get a square screwdriver and get these out to get the M&Ms. And wow. that's disgusting. This is so wrong. Oh, that's, oh. Oh, I, uh, I, <coughs> no, but there's there's more you need there's to grab. There's more. There's more. I'm not, need, grabbing, need to grab I, I'm not grabbing anything else. Yeah, but you can't reach the vacuum way back in there. Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting. I'm not going to lie. You could literally knit a sweater out of this. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Uh, you want that? No, here, here. All right, so for a vast majority of us, the travel season is coming to a close for summer and fall, right? So one of the things that you can begin doing is planning for the future, right? That planning can just look like daydreaming, kind of mm -hmm. thinking about where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to see. We're not just talking about like the big, huge summer vacations or the long month long vacation. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's something that you want to do, even things in your own state that's right in your back. Backyard, yeah. a hike, something that's maybe touristy, something that's a <laughs> hidden gem. Yes. So one thing we did is, as we're talking with our kids about our mm -hmm. travel hopes and plans and dreams, Kean had mentioned how important it was to see friends. Exactly. So we actually reached out to our friends and said, hey, how can we get our kids together as we're all traveling? Right. So we just meshed our plans together and the guys got to hang out with their friends, Luke and Serena, for like the last three weeks weeks and we were actually able to do like several really cool things with them. Right. We met up with our other kids in Michigan and did a <laughs> corn maze, a pumpkin patch. We were able to go to a concert. He and made an amazing discovery. We found out that 21 Pilots is going to be playing in Columbus as we're driving through on our way south. Not only are they playing in Columbus, but this is their hometown. Don't you shine. That just 
proves the point that you can start planning your future trips now. Yeah. They can be tiny small ones or mm -hmm. a culmination of many to create a big one. Yeah, start dreaming. Get those conversations flowing with your partner or with your kids, with friends that you wanna go visit that live in another town or another state. Get out your bucket list. Yeah. Um, and if you don't have a bucket list, start one now. Heck yeah, man, start the bucket list and build up the anticipation to get out and enjoy the world around you. Yep. Speaking of meeting with friends, re Kindle. Oh, this is good. Rekindle those relationships, whether it be with your spouse, your significant right. other, your kids, friends that live across the country, friends in your own town that you haven't seen it right. for a while, or maybe family members. Plan for a time to go spend with them. Oh, do man. something special that's going to rekindle that relationship. What do you what do? Are you, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? What are you doing? I got balloons. I'm for holding what? for my dad's birthday. Jason and I are alike in a lot of ways. We have a lot of similar interests, but there are some things we are very different about, and card choosing would be one of those. <laughs> I'm the one that gets all the sweet, sentimental card, and then there's Jason who gets his father this card right here. Let me just read it for you. This is Pete Schmidt. His hair is all gray, his teeth are fake, and he has two new hips. So if you think you are getting old, you don't know Schmidt. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I saw that card and I was like, that's the winner. It could even introduce something that has never been a part of your life, which is maybe a yearly meetup. You meet up with that group of people, whoever they are, right? and you pick a destination, and maybe next year they pick the destination. Whatever the case is, mm -hmm. rekindle those relationships and have travel be a part of it. It's yeah. so cool to go somewhere else that neither of you have been to experience it together and just bring about memories, laughter, yeah. and all kinds of stuff to anticipate year after year after year. Mm -hmm. We've taken part in Friendsgiving before. <laughs> Let's meet up with some friends. Let's do something fun. So there's just a free idea for you. Maybe you could plan for a Friendsgiving. A for Friendsgiving, yeah. Yeah, just a little thought. Well, let's just for a minute talk about food that sticks to your innards. You know that phrase that you heard as a kid? It's cold outside, I need something to stick to your insides to keep you warm. You just almost just can taste the warm soup or the chili or that meatloaf. I mean, yes. Thanksgiving is coming up and everybody like longs for that big old buffet of all oh, that delicious yeah. food that you can savor. Let's just get some soups and mm. some breads and get all fat and sassy. <laughs> all right, for real, winter is coming and we want to talk about savor. Right, savor, savor the flavor. Get out those family heirloom recipes. You know what we're talking about. The ones with the dust on them that are like grandma's recipes that you've just shoved into mm -hmm. your bookcase or something, you know. Dust them off, bust them out. You know, those childhood favorites. And it isn't even just the food, it's really the memory that's attached to them. That warm feeling that goes along with the warm food. Yeah. I mean, that's just really unparalleled, right? Yeah. And maybe you don't have any of those like family heirloom recipes or anything, but you can still try something new. Go online. There's great resources online if you're just like chicken and dumplings, yep. good meatloaf recipe, the best chili recipe. Just maybe it's something new that you've never tried before and you've always wanted to. Mm. Bust out the recipe, go to the grocery store, get what you need, and make up something to savor the season. Embrace. Embrace. Ooh. I like embracing. Ooh, embrace. Mm. Oh, embrace. Oh, that's just an extra tip right there. Cuddle. Do some cuddling because mm -hmm. this is the perfect season for that. Yeah. It's getting chilly and it's time to bust out those blankets and warm tea or warm coffee. coffee. Let's just set something straight here though. <laughs> oh, here I like coffee as well. I am a hashtag coffee and tea girl. Okay. I know there's this thing going on. But it is okay to like coffee and tea. Some people might disagree. I, I might be stirring the pot. He is. 
during the pot. Okay, so we gotta get to this next point. Embrace the season that you're in. Sometimes it's really hard when the seasons change and you're like, what do I do now? I gotta put all those clothes away. I gotta get all these clothes out. Well, and it's just, it's busy. Like everything goes at 150,000 miles an hour and just life just, just goes and yeah. goes and goes and goes and goes. One of my favorite seasons is the fall. So this was really easy for me to embrace Halloween and fall because we love dressing up in costumes. Mm -hmm. We do it whether it's Halloween or not. So when Halloween happens, and we know it's coming up in our home, even in the RV, yes, that's right, we made Halloween epic in the RV. We like to create our own costumes, and even the kids' friends right. jumped in. This was a new experience for them. We just went in. Both ruby red slippers jumped right in. Let us take you down the yellow brick road. <laughs> Ooh, uh, is it coming along? It is! I'm like literally turning this from Frozen into Wizard of Oz. Look it. And then I'm gonna glue this right here. And then this is gonna be my wand. Wow. Hello. <laughs> what in the world? You, Jason, you just straight up made that. Ever sure you travel. <laughs> wow. That's kind of amazing. Oh, Serena, nice job on that. I hope that's not your favorite shirt, Luke. Alright, here's here's the outfit. Here's the outfit. That is coming along, love. <laughs> yeah. Um, I really think I could have. So as a creator, as someone who's taken photos, both of us taken videos, like the whole time we've ever been together, we're just photographers at heart. Photo journaling, video blogging, we've always done it even before we started YouTube. Correct. So we want to encourage you to do what we are doing now. Get the photos off of your camera roll out of your phone. Get the videos out of there and create mm -hmm. something. This culture is so guilty of the cloud, using the cloud. Oh my gosh. Right? All right. the photos and all your videos videos and everything gets stored in the cloud. But where does it go from there? I mean, there are some really cool sites out there that you could do photo sharing. Right. If you are into doing YouTube, even if you don't know what you're doing, just start a YouTube account, create, like throw your video on there that's 20 minutes of a cool drive or whatever it is and just share it with your friends and family. It doesn't have to be all produced and stuff like what other people do on YouTube. Just put it out there for people to see. Right, allow the YouTube platform to really be your storage place to visit memories, have your kids visit those memories, mm -hmm. your grandkids visit those memories, and mm -hmm. let them reside there for years. Yeah. It's a platform that many know how to use. Or, dude, do some old school photo books. Send all yes. those photos off to Shutterfly or whoever else yes. that is. Get a book back in the mail and now it can sit in your coffee table and be revisited over and yes. over and over. And maybe not just for you, Christmas is coming up. It would be a great gift idea. Like Jason said, you can go on Shutterfly, Walmart.com or CVS or Walgreens. Walgreens. Yeah. You know, and there's probably other places that are even more cool than that. We just are unaware <laughs> of them. But you could make a book as a gift for your kids, grandkids, parents, for yourself or for your grandparents. I mean, wherever you're at in the age spectrum, I guarantee there is someone who would appreciate a book full of some cool photo memories. Right, how super fly would that be if you're like 23 years old watching this video and you straight drop a photo book in front of your grandparents and be like, what, I just made this. <laughs> Yeah, and there are some really easy just plug and play. Maybe you say, look, you guys are telling us to create something, but I am not creative. Right. You can still do this pretty simply. Places online, they lay out the format for you. If you can click a mouse yeah. and drag a photo, that's you all you can do, do this. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. You can do this. We believe in you. Get your photos, get your videos, whatever platform you want to do it in, 
and create something for yourself or as a gift. I would say encourage us and let us know, I'm gonna make a video this year. I'm yes. gonna make a photo book from this year's memories. Let us know, we would love to know because yes. we wanna know that we're encouraging you to do something that will last a lifetime. Yeah. Now, one might think this is gonna get all mushy and gooey and all that. There can be a little bit of that in there, but. We are asking you to reflect. Mm. Why, Jason and Delyn? Why is it so important to reflect? What has the last season that you just came out of right. taught you yeah. and brought you? Not just like, what have you learned? That's important too, but right. what did the last season that you have came out of bring to you or to your family or to your relationship or right. even your relationships with others? Just reflect mm -hmm. for even if it's but a moment. Right what memories that you've made, mm -hmm. um, the people you've spent time with, the people you've met, yes. who or what has brought some joy and laughter into this yes. last season. Mm -hmm. Because it's always good to look back, not to stay there, but just to use it as a learning lesson or just yep. to be able to look back and go, ah, man, he just did that. Yeah, I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but Sometimes reflection and looking back in that rear view mirror and seeing where have you came from? Where are you now? And where are you going? Wow, this is good stuff, people. <laughs> so we want to know, tell us below which one of these points has like hit home the yeah, most man. for you. Yeah. Is it hashtag declutter? Mm -hmm. Hashtag prepare. Hashtag rekindle. Hashtag savor the season. Oh yeah. Hashtag embrace mm, this one might be my favorite mm. <laughs> hashtag create or hashtag reflect mm -hmm. now maybe there was a couple of them that actually like totally got yeah, to you it doesn't and have that's to be okay just one. right it doesn't have to be just one I don't know, there was some good stuff in here today. Yeah, man. And you know what? If you got some tips that you wanna share with us that you could do in between traveling, let us know. All right, guys, we have had so much fun, but we gotta get rolling because we have a busy week planned and I know yes. that you do too. We have some really exciting things happening in the next couple of weeks. So you're gonna wanna make sure oh, to come back. Yes, so we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.